Happy Thursday, everybody. I got a new hat. Check it out. It's so weird. Anyway, so thank you so much for joining. So we're going to get right into it because this news of the Neo Geo MVSX was pretty huge, but it made me like kind of think to myself, you know, obviously we know it's real now and I'll walk you through that. I'll walk you through what it is and everything, but it made me kind of wonder for a minute, you know, is it something we really need? We've seen the release of, let's kill the music really quick. We don't need that anymore. Although it gets me so excited. We saw the release of the Neo Geo Mini. It came in like a US version and an international version. And it's pretty cool, right? I mean, it's a cool little device. I got to admit, it's neat. It's kind of cool. It didn't have a battery in it, though. That was a super bummer. So I was like, uh, what do you mean? I can't take it with me. But it was kind of cool. Then we saw this Neo Geo Arcade Stick Pro come out. Also a really cool device. So love this thing. It's pretty well made and everything. So I was like, well, you know, between these two, do I really need any more Neo Geo stuff? I already have a bunch of Neo Geo original hardware. This is a consoleized MVS, so I can hook this up to a TV and play MVS carts, which, shoot, that's the one thing I forgot to bring on the table. So I have a bunch of MVS carts. I don't have nearly as much as our buddy uh, Scarlet Sprites, who's a big Neo Geo guy. But um, but yeah, I have a million ways to play Neo Geo. So I was just wondering, like, what is it? You know, why do I want this? And why do I always do this? It's like literally going to be one of these times where I actually don't do this. Uh, there we go. Sorry, guys. I swear I do that every time. And it really bugs me because I know better. But anyways, that's not what we're here to talk about. So, yeah. So I was thinking, do I really need this? Because we have all of this other Neo Geo stuff. Um, but yeah, so let's walk through a little bit of what's going on, because there's a little bit of an interesting story around this, I think, to tell. So I'm going to break away from the chat for a moment. So I'm not going to be as as involved with your guys' conversation for a minute while we move over, and then I'll get back to it in a second. Um, the Shaggy, the sh Shanny Tugs, $5 Super Chat. Hey, look, I got the first Super Chat. <laughs> Sorry, Zohar, that's awesome. All right, well, I'll get back to you guys in a second. We're going to dive into... A couple things on the website. So when you look at the website itself, right, before there was a bunch of stuff missing. And, and admittedly, I did think there was some fishy stuff going on. But when you actually look now, there is a press release and everything like that. And it is, you know, backed by SNK. So it's a licensed product. So I'm OK with that. That's cool, right? That's good news. Uh, but the thing that was kind of weird to me is I was thinking to myself, didn't we see something like this before? And where it gets kind of weird to me, and I have no idea, I'm not trying to spark controversy, but there was this thing that popped up on Reddit that was kind of a leak around, um, I don't know, maybe it was like last year sometime around there being a King of Fighters 98 cabinet that was maybe possibly going to be come, coming out or in the work. So I thought that was kind of interesting. So I don't know if these two are tied together by any means. But, you know, it was kind of interesting when I looked at that going, is, you know, is it somewhat related? Did did the leak actually aggravate SNK or just make them believe to themselves, hey, that deal wasn't inked, so we're going to do it ourselves? I don't know. Or we're going to do it in conjunction with other people. That's just hearsay. But I have heard that. So the 50 games that are included are actually pretty good, right? So you've got... You've got your King of Fighters, which, uh, you know, admittedly, this wasn't my jam, but they are pretty fun. Uh, you've got a lot of the Metal Slugs, which is great. You've got Samurai Showdown. They've got a good mix of games. They threw in a couple of the side scrollers, uh, which which are great. Shock Troopers, another great game. So they this is a decent lineup. Now, if they follow the same formula as they did with the Arcade Pro Stick, the Arcade Pro Stick was a little bit underwhelming for me personally, and I'll tell you why. So if we go to the Arcade Pro Stick for a second, it had all it had 20 pre-installed fighting games. And I was like, man, I kind of want more than the fighting games. But the thing is, they had all those unlockables. So if you look, there was 20 bonus games included, uh, 20 Neo Geo games inside. There was like, you know, unlockables and stuff. The crazy thing is, is I'll be honest for a second here, is uh, I didn't actually, this is the first time I even unboxed the thing. I actually is so, was so enamored with other content that I never unboxed it. So I haven't done any of those unlockables or anything like that. But if you do own this stick and you're interested in that, uh, Mad Little Pixel has a whole bunch of tutorials on that specifically. But let's go back to the website for one second before before I get your guys' feedback on this. So if I go back to the website, we'll see, you know, what's going on with this thing as far as like the form factor and what it looks like. It's following a similar, a similar you know, um, path that the II Arcade is going down where it's got sort of this base. We'll scroll down a little bit. 
So it's got a base and it has a bar top and you can buy it uh, in a package where you get both or you just get the bar top. I thought that was kind of interesting because some people don't have the space for a full, you know, a, you know, something that's about five feet tall. So that's kind of interesting. And, and, and you know, I like that. Uh, I don't think the coin door is real. I think it's just a sticker. But for me, when I look at this, I'm like, well, if it if the sticker is about the same size as the original coin door in the Neo Geo, it would be kind of cool to cut this out and put a real coin door in it just for aesthetic purposes. Uh, but yeah, so this is the the idea of, you know, the product. It's a bar top and you get, you know, you get the base. Now, I had no idea who Unico was. Obviously, I don't care at this point. As long as I know it's a licensed product, I could give a grat's ass who Unico really is. Uh, where to buy is still empty, but it seems like it's going to be available via Amazon. And that's cool. Zohar had a shout out, he said, or a shout out in a super chat. Thank you. He said, big shout out to Derek, my best friend. He is the one that helped me with the Neo Geo Pro Stick and the Dreamcast GD EMU. He is awesome. Say hi, everyone. Hey, bud. Appreciate that. Appreciate the super chat, too. So so obviously we've got, you know, we've got the Pro Stick with mostly fighting games, you know, but we have those hacks around so you can unlock the games. Then you have the Neo Geo uh, mini that came out not that long ago, which is this guy right here. Now the Neo Geo Mini may whet your appetite too if you if you if you're unfamiliar with that. There's 40 games that are included in that, and there's a good lineup of games in this as well. So they've got a good mix between fighting games, side scrolling, beat 'em ups, and stuff like that. So uh, they've got a couple shmups in there, I think too, if I remember correctly. But I've had fun with a lot of these things. But it seems like they're making these products in such a way that like it's missing the mark on certain elements. It's like it's leaving it open to build another product. So I don't know. People love, people love, you know, these arcade one-ups. So this is following that theme. Now th there's a talk track that's gone through a bunch. Hey, RGT, how's it going, bud? Appreciate you being here. There's a talk track that's kind of developed where uh, people are like, well, hey, maybe these companies are getting wise and they're deciding that, hey, I want to get in the game too and build my own. And if that's the case, you know, we may see others jump into this because, you know, there's there's people that have said, you know, they, I want a Donkey Kong cabinet. And, you know, companies like Nintendo uh, like to do it themselves. They like to be in full control of their IP. As a matter of fact, they usually shut down people that go against their IP. So, you know, could we see other companies jump in and say, hey, we're going to circumvent all this and develop our own? I, a lot of people are saying that. I don't necessarily disagree with that. I'm a big supporter of Arcade 1UP, but I'm just saying, these companies may pop up and say, hey, well, we could build one ourselves if they have the means and capability, although it would probably be easier to go to Arcade 1UP because they already have all the infrastructure in place to do so. So I did want to mention one more thing. If you're really interested in, um, you know, in Neo Geo specifically, there's another route you could take too. You know, it's not going to be the authentic experience, but if you already have an At Games Legends Ultimate, you know, you guys know my stance on that. I'm not a big fan of the product for various reasons more the company than anything else. But anyways, I'll bring it up because I have to try to stay neutral if I can. And um, they have Arcade Net, which actually has a bunch of licensed SNK games. So you can get your Neo Geo fill that way. So if you feel like the $500 price tag for the bar top and the, you know, and the base or riser is too expensive, you might want to go that route too. So there's a lot of ways to, you know, kind of wet your Neo Geo appetite, but I'm actually pretty excited and I do like the product. I knew I was giving it a hard time. It was a little bit of shtick, guys, you know, like I had to have fun with it because it was kind of the, the way they launched. It was kind of ghetto, to be honest. So so check this out, though. So their Twitter account has has woken up all of a sudden and now they've got, you know, some tweets out there uh, talking about it. They've v validated that um, it's a legitimate product. And what I did was I messaged I messaged one of the guys that uh, is responsible for the product, the marketing of the product. And I actually asked them, I said, hey, Michael, I'm interested in your announced MVSX product. I run a YouTube channel called Retro Ralph where I mainly cover arcade products, blah, 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 blah. And I basically was like, please give me one. And I, sh I sent him two videos. <laughs> I didn't say it like that. But I said, hey, you know, I've, I've been able to successfully drive revenue for a couple of different companies because I'd love to get my hands on it. And he basically said, uh, we don't have any uh, we're going to have two of them or, or two of them in the West available. And basically, I'm not going to give you one, which is fine. You know, it's it's hey, you know what? It's worth a shot, right? You got to ask the question. So I'm always going to ask the question. I just I didn't get the answer I wanted. But hey, I'm still going to ask it. Right. Because uh, if I had a chance to review it for you guys, I'll, I would absolutely do that. I've got a decent amount of experience around Neo Geo. I've built Neo Geo cabinets with real hardware. I definitely don't have the experience level, though 
the person they should send it to is Scarlet Sprites. He is dialed in when it comes to all things Neo Geo. That guy should get one. So if the company behind it is listening, send one to Scarlet Sprites. Although just know he's going to be really, really, really honest in his assessment of it. So if he thinks it's trash, he's going to say it's trash. Uh, so, but anyways, if you guys don't know who Scarlet Sprites is and you're just getting into Neo Geo or you're a fan of Neo Geo, go check out his channel. He's a very, very good YouTuber. His quality is awesome and he focuses a lot around it. Uh, yeah, so that's it. That's it, really. I, uh, I I don't really have a whole lot more. I'll, I'll I'll leave it open for you guys to talk. Did you get? <laughs> I did. I got a new hat finally. I don't like feel a little insecure in the new hat though because it's like I don't know. It's just feeling a little bit like you know a new thing, and I'm not used to it, and I don't like the way I'm looking in it. But but yeah. So but I'm weird like that. I'm very insecure. Very insecure person. So um, <laughs> I could never do the RGT thing where he does a video and he's rocking like. He's in the chat right now. He's rocking like some some like uh, I don't know what was what was that? It was like a leopard print or something? Like I would I wouldn't be able to do it. I'm not as comfortable as him yet. I don't know. Maybe I will in a couple. Of, I I need more time. I need more time to get more comfortable with my own skin. Sometimes I think <laughs> Zohar super chat. Thanks, buddy. He says I think it's crazy that the three games I love on Neo Geo, Baseball Stars, Windjammers, and Viewpoint are not included. Um, I would definitely agree to that. There's a lot of great games that aren't on there. Um. But yeah, I mean, there. I, I would imagine if they're going to follow the same formula, they may actually un have unlockables. So, oh wait, hold on. RGT says the best thing is that it's actually a bathing suit, but I wear it as shorts because I don't care. See, he's more evolved than me. I can't, I, I care to a degree. I care a little too much. I wish I didn't, but, uh, but I do a little bit. It's, it's, I'll, I'll get over it eventually. I figure like, you know, maybe I just need to get a little older. RGT is younger than me, I believe, but I need to get a little older for me. I'm, I'm like, my timeline is messed up. I shouldn't care right now, but I do. Uh, so Wicked Gamer and Collectors in the chat, he actually gave me something. Wicked, what did you shoot, shoot me over? You shot me over something. Is it something you want to share? Oh, man, I'm six years older than RGT85. Now I feel like an old guy. This sucks. I'm like the old, I am the retro gamer guy now. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> that sucks. Uh, let me see what uh, let me see what Wicked Gamer sent me over really fast. Uh, I think he sent it over on Skype. See, he's a uh, Wicked Gamer, actually, really good friend of mine. But he's over in um, he's over in the Netherlands. I can't bring it up right now. But anyways, he's over in the Netherlands. We never can connect because of timelines and whatnot. So I want to ask you guys in the chat, what do you think about this thing? Like, is this something you want to get? You want to pick up or what? Thanks, How to Bachelor, for the super chat. I appreciate it, buddy. Um, good supporter. Awesome. Good friend, too. So what do you guys think? Like, is this something you want to pick up? Are you interested? Because honestly, right, I got to say this. It's not going to be popular amongst my arcade one-up buddies. But if, I, if I'm going to if I'm going to get a cabinet that's Neo Geo with four games or Neo Geo with with five, with 50 games and it's and it's officially licensed, I think I'm going to go with this one. Right. So and I don't I'm guessing that cabinet is no longer happening, by the way, the one that was supposed to be by Arcade One Up. So we'll see. Zohar said new new Netflix movie high score is out. I don't know what that is, but I guess I'm gonna have to check that out. Two dollar super chat. Thanks, buddy. I appreciate it. Um, Yeah, I think this is cool. I think this is a cool product. I mean, it will also you know, the other cool thing is it will introduce some non Neo Geo fans or people that didn't ever even experience Neo Geo to Neo Geo. It has a very unique art style about it in all the games. I think the games are fun and easy to play because of the four button configuration. The one thing I'll say before we kind of wrap things up is when I look at the um, the overall system and we start to look at like the control panel, I don't know the reason for the six game, the six buttons. So there are no Neo Geo AES or MVS games that are six buttons. There's apps, there are none. So that's a fact, but they could be putting the two buttons on there. See, this is where it throws me off because it's like if you're, if you're SNK Corporation and you license the technology for someone to develop it, what are the extra two buttons for? Is there some kind of, I don't know, is there some kind of additional options that would require it? Because you have plenty of buttons on top. You've got your left player start, right player start. You have the select game and an options and back buttons. I don't know what you'd have them for. Unless this is just like a, hey, you know, it's got six buttons, so modders do what you will, right? Because if there is a USB port, 
there's that. I don't know that SNK really cares all that much because obviously people have been able to hack the, uh, they've been able to hack this guy. So I don't know, maybe they don't, maybe they don't care. Uh, maybe they don't care as much as some other companies. But hey, I mean, if it's going to open it up for modding, I'm cool with that too. I just hope, my hope is this, <clears throat> that when it comes out, by the, oh, wait, one second. You guys know I'm ADD. By the way, so normally I'm drinking the Respawn energy drink, but I couldn't, I, I didn't get it in time. So this Hydro Zero Sugar Monster one is, is like my alternative. If I can't get Respawn, I do this. This you can usually get at like a gas station or something. Now, I want to be careful. I don't want to condone the usage of energy drinks because some people have pre-existing heart conditions and whatnot. I'm not saying it's healthy for you, but I don't sleep anymore. So it's like the only way to get me through a day. So that's kind of sad, but uh, but that's true. That's actually what's up. So that's it. But yeah, guys, I don't want to keep you too long. I just want to know one more thing. Yeah, it's got aspartame. It's bad news, dude. It's bad news. I'm telling you, but I'm not the healthiest guy. I lost a bunch of weight, but I don't know. I'm not exactly the most healthiest guy in the world. I try. All right. We'll be all right. Zohar says super chat. By the way, before I read Zohar's super chat, let me get let you bleh, bleh, bleh. <laughs> put in the chat. If you're going to buy this, yes or no? I hate that it's $500 because I feel like everything now is $500. But I'm hopeful that if this follows the same formula as the other products they've licensed or released themselves, they'll be unlockables. So let me get their Zohar's super chat real quick here. He says, will we be doing a Street Fighter rematch soon? I don't like winning only six times. <clears throat> I thought he was going to say something nice and he jabbed it in a little further. Like he just had to just put that knife in and twist it. He like threw a bunch of sea salt right on the wound. That's fine, buddy. That's fine. We'll have our rematch. We'll have it. I'm going to be practicing though. I'm not going to go into this cold now that I know that you're like this sleeper street fighter fan or street fight, you know, this sleeper street fighter guy. We're going to do it again. We're going to do it again. See, I beat David McIntosh, but see, David sucks. So I thought I was good because I beat David. I got cocky and I'm not good. Come to find out. They thought I was good. Yeah. It's easy to think you're good when you always play games on easy. But uh, yeah, anyways. <laughs> uh, all right. Come on, Arizona Arcade Heroes. We're not about, we're not, we're not trying to promote the piracy of these games, my man. But uh, yeah, I mean, <laughs> my family, I've been practicing to beat Zohar. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on. You only beat me one time, bud. So don't be getting all, see, you're getting a little cocky too. You get cocky, Zohar's going to come in and just swoop you, dude. He's going to take you out. So for those of you that are in the chat, we did a Street Fighter, uh, or that the, the don't know what we're talking about, we did a Street Fighter tournament sort of thing, a pseudo Street Fighter tournament where I went on, li I live streamed, and we were connected via, we were playing it on the Switch, and we were playing Ultra Street Fighter 2 on the Switch, and then uh, I was just kind of like letting people give me their friend code, and I would have them join, and we would do, we, we did like, I don't know, maybe 10 or so matches. It was really fun, though. We had a really good time. We'll definitely do it again. I felt like we were, I don't know, it, it recreated that whole vibe of us feeling, at, you know, hanging out together and playing the games. So it's pretty awesome. But uh, but maybe we'll do the uh, the anniversary collection this next time. But all right. Is there anything else you guys want to talk about real quick before we go? I trying to keep this tight, trying to keep it lean. Uh, oh, and Zohar, another super chat. He says old control panel is delivered tomorrow. So I gave Zohar. I didn't, he didn't need to give me the old one back, but uh, I took an arcade one-up Mortal Kombat 2 control panel that I had for, from the Costco bundle, and I put IL sticks on it. So those of you who don't know, there, there was the HAP competition sticks, and then there was the IL sticks. There's some stories around why those two companies parted ways or, or branched off from each other, uh, but the ILs are really the, the stick of choice at this point. And I put those on his and he was blown away. And I told him, I said, dude, once you play on an IL, it will forever change your life. Um, or, or even like a Hap Ultimate or something like that. You will never want, in my opinion, no, this is a religious thing. You won't want a Sanwa stick. I don't care if you put a four pound spring in it or anything. You will not want it. You will want the, the IL sticks. They're bomb. So you can go to um, a couple places. So Tornado Terry's sells, I think, the Hap Competitions. So if you go to eBay, uh, Tornado Terry sells the HAP competitions. They're a step below the ILs. If you want the ILs, I think it's, um, hold on, let me, um, I forget where I usually get them. IL, 
Uh, give me one sec, guys. Sorry, we're doing we're doing it live. Uh, Paradise Arcade Shop. So if you go to Paradise Arcade Shop, you can pick up the IL sticks there. Uh, they're about fourteen pucks. Fourteen pucks. <laughs> I almost I almost used the other thing. Uh, hold on. RGT says, Ralph, I'm doing a Final Fight conversion into one of my favorite games of all time. Got oh crap! I missed this lot. I missed this thing. Hold on. Uh, I got Russ. Oh. I don't know. Oh, oh, Russ Lyman doing all the work. I'm going to give them pizza <laughs> and shout outs on the subsequent vid. Hey, man, I, you know what? It, payment in pizza isn't bad. There are a lot of people that wouldn't mind getting paid in pizza. Stringer Film says, is this live? This is 100% live. We're live. And How to Bachelor, thank you for the super chat, buddy. And How to Bachelor says, uh, Battletoads next Friday, Ralph. Yes, we will be doing Battletoads. I am going to I'm going to get on a live stream without a bachelor. I have no idea how we're doing that, but he's, he's, I'm putting it all on him to figure out the logistics. I'm just the guy joining and we're going to play some Battletoads and I'll probably get my ass kicked. If Battletoads, if the new Battletoads is anything like the old Battletoads, then it will be a really crappy stream. So I'm going to have to come up with creative things to talk about to distract you guys from how bad the gameplay is, which is usually my strategy in general is I just talk about random shit to get you guys not focused on how bad my gameplay is. And, and most of you guys are cool with that. And, but at least, I'm, at least I'm straight with that. I'm usually bullshitting. But hey. Uh, okay, someone wants to buy my play choice. That's not going to happen. I love that thing. Sorry, maybe later. I'm actually supposed to do a video on that, but we've, we've been a little, I've been a little uh, delayed on that kind of stuff. Uh, Earl asked me, Ralph, do you prefer Apple or Windows for, you, for your YouTube? Uh, I mean, like maybe the desktop I'm on. So I have everything. I built a PC for all my streaming stuff. Um, I use an Apple for work. I used to be a wicked Apple fanboy, and dude, I've kind of fallen off the map. I'm kind of back on PC again. So yeah. All right, let's see. I suck at it. All right, well, Hot Bachelor sucks at it too, so that's cool. Unqualified Critics did a video on the Costco NBA Jam. Ooh, let's talk about that really, really quick. I know that's unrelated to this topic. So there's a lot of people that aren't going to be happy about that. But I did say on the last live stream that I had with Justin, we talked about it. I think Arcade 1-Up, you're going to see lots of SKUs and lots of different configurations. And so just be aware that's going to be more the normal than not these days. So you're going to see them do different packages, different bundles, different options. And unfortunately, I think that will aggravate a lot of people. But I also think they're creating these SKUs to open up their market a bit more and not that's those are not to cater to the hardcore diehards on buying every cabinet. But I think it's actually at this point impossible to buy every cabinet. I mean, you guys, seriously, I'm like. I cannot buy anymore. I really don't think I can. Like, I, I'm tapped out. Like, tapped out. Like, I can't buy them. I have, like, I have no funding to buy. Think about it. Every time you buy an RK 1-Up cabinet, 500 bucks, 500 bucks, 500 bucks. It's like, so if you really want one, my suggestion to you would be um, maybe be less impatient and be more patient to wait when they offer a cab. Give about a month or two to see what they do because there's undoubtedly going to be other packages. Um, and I, I, so I don't know. I mean, I have a ton of these things now. I know the, they're not going to stop the exclusive bundles, guys. It's just part of their, it's part of their thing now. It's, it's just, you're going to see more of it. I, I doubt you're going to see less of it. And I think they're not really looking to cater to the collector uh, at this point, because they've just, there's too many. You can't collect every one. I mean, unless you're like, you know, totally loaded. Um, would you buy a race? Would you buy the racing cap? Oh, damn it, Edwin. Thank you for the super chat. Damn it. You do you, you the one weakness. Yes, I would, even though what I just said, it's complete contradiction of what I just said. See, damn it, Edwin. <sighs> Thanks for the super chat. Yes, I will. I'll buy it. I won't be able to see RGT has the same issue. I don't know if he's still in here. Homeboy's like reconfiguring his whole entire house to fit more cabinets. <laughs> no. He did say in one of his videos, though, he did say something in one of his videos that, like, he has no room, but he also, it doesn't matter because he doesn't have, like, stuff that he needs to, you know, have in the room. So, see, I, I have, since I'm getting, you know, engaged and married, my my available space is diminished to this room you see right now, which I don't have the room camera hooked up right now, but this room you see right now, and then my my office downstairs. So my office downstairs is an office slash arcade. But I can't, those are, those are all full-size arcades, except for one, which is the NBA Jam. 
So I mean, don't need, mobile decays like, yeah, I don't need a refrigerator. Uh, Judah, Judah Butta, Butta says uh, no basement. Uh, no. So I live in Arizona. I grew up in Rhode Island where we had basements, but I don't have a basement. Um, I don't have a, there's no basement. Well, I shouldn't say there's no basements in Arizona. It's pretty rare that there are basements and houses in Arizona because the ground is so damn hard. I'll tell you one thing. This is totally unrelated. You know, I always love to do this. And I probably said, I'll tell you one thing like a million times is, uh, in Arizona, if you're ever going to build a pool, there's this shtick or this little thing that, that every pool builder will do. They'll come out and be like, yeah, so, uh, here you want to build a pool. And you're like, yeah, I'd love to put a pool in my backyard. And they're like, all right, let me uh, let me test the soil because if this is going to be one of them there uh, hard digs, you're going to have to take the overall pool cost and I'm going to have to tack on a 15% extra because I got to bring in all these vehicles. And they're all, yep, hard dig. No, oh, man, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, man. Uh, this is definitely a hard dig. Yeah, it's going to cost you an extra 15 grand no matter how you look at it. So, uh... Yeah, but the hard dig is BS. It's always a hard dig. But it just, it just, they give you hope that it's not going to be, and they're like, yep. Yeah, mm. Hey, Cletus. Hey, Cletus, come over here. You got to look at this for a second. Hey, Cletus, come on. Oh, uh, yeah, boss. Uh, what, what, what do you need me for? Yeah, can you validate that this uh, seems to be a hard dig? Uh, yeah, you know, it kind of does, boss. Uh, we're going to have to charge him, what is it, a 15, 20% extra? I think it's a 25% extra. We're running a, we're running a discount right now where it's, uh, where it's, uh, I, think it's I think it's 20% versus 25. Yeah, kid, uh, I changed my voice. Now I'm from the East Coast. But yeah, you're going to need to do a hard dig on this one. There's no way around it, guy. I mean, the soil, it's garbage. Your soil is so full of, filled with, uh, I mean, there's rocks. The, you got concrete. You got uh, all sorts of shit in here. There's no way I'm going to be able to do this. Without doing a hard dig. I mean, it, I'm sorry. It's, uh, it is what it is. I mean, kid, you want to swim, right? Hey, look at Johnny. He looks really, look at Johnny over there behind the sliding glass door. He's like, he looks really sad. You tell me you're not going to get the kid a pool now? I mean, kid, hey, Johnny, what do you think about your dad? He's just, <laughs> look at this schlub over here. He doesn't want to pay a little extra for your hard dig, huh? Well, dad, please, come on, we need a pool. Anyway, so, yeah, there's all that. Uh, and that's real. That is actually a real thing. Anybody that lives in Arizona would know. All right, let me get caught back, caught back up on Super Chats. So Stringer Film says, you're so full of it, you'll buy Big Buck. <laughs> Thanks for the Super Chat, buddy. I don't want to buy Big Buck. I don't. I want to... I'm trying, man. I'm trying to... First of all, yeah, I, you guys are all in the same boat because all of the all of you that watch the channel, you're obsessed too, so you buy everyone, and I, we're going to run out of money, dude. I mean... We'll have to start a fund or something. Um, okay, so Stringer Film says it's a hard dig and needs a major chassis replacement. <laughs> Thanks for the super chat, buddy. Yeah, it needs a chassis for sure. Uh, all right, Ralph, ever think of acting for real? Uh, yeah, a long time ago I did, but uh, those that ship has sailed, so there's no acting going on. Um, I'm surprised if you really search the internet, there's probably some old little like demo reels of me, but I won't tell you where they are. All right. Payline slot channel. Thank you so much, buddy. He said, thanks for making us Arizona peeps sound like Cletus. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> well, hey, buddy. I changed the name. I changed the voice like three times. Yeah, I'm a teacher now, by the way. With homeschool, I'm a teacher, although my my student is like screwing off right now. So I probably have to go. But I should end it here. I should end it here. We got to end this up. So I appreciate there's been a lot of you watching and I really do appreciate it. I appreciate all the super chats. Oh, wow. All right. I'm, I get I'm butchering this name. The Shaney Tugs. OK, the Shaney Tugs says uh, the voices are great. You need to do those more. Twenty dollars super chat if you do a whole stream and funny voices. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. That's awesome. I appreciate it. Thank you for the super chat. Bad Karma says I can fit four one ups in army barracks. You can fit one more. <laughs> can you really? Uh, that's pretty impressive, actually. And, and if you are in the military, definitely uh, thank you for your service, for sure. And you, you're, you, are, you are joined by someone else that is ex-military in here, how to bachelor. So both of you guys, thanks for the service. Appreciate that. Um, I don't know what Stringer Films is talking about. And Zohar's laughing or someone's laughing or something like that. Uh, thank you for showing us how to build my own MVS. Don't need the MVSX. Yeah, actually, you know, Dan, Dan Dick, that's a good point. So guys, if you're watching right now and you don't want to buy, uh, here, let's go back to the website real quick. If you 
are like, wow, $500 is a lot of money and I can't afford to build this. Well, what's awesome is uh, go to eBay and look up MVS or MVS PCB, Neo Geo MVS PCB, and you can get one for a very good price still. So if you want to build your own MVS cabinet, you can do that. Now, there's a kind of questionable cart called the 161 in one. That cart has 161 Neo Geo games, some repeats, but I do have a uh, playlist. I think it's called Arcade Hardware for Beginners, or if you look Retro Ralph Neo Geo, you'll find it. And I actually show how to wire it all up. The only caveat to that video, and I have to go back and redo it, is if you can get Unibios 4.0, it actually makes that multi-card even better. So just uh, just keep that in mind. But yeah, thanks for bringing that up, by the way. Uh, I don't know if I'll do a whole... I don't know if I could do a whole like a whole show in a voice. I might be able to. I don't know. We'll see. I When I do voices for a long time, it switches to a different voice. Like all of a sudden I go from being like, I don't know, like a redneck to a Russian. Like I just go like, I don't know. I, I can't keep it. I don't, maybe I can. We'll try. If it was for a short period of time, maybe. But anyway, that's it, guys. I think that's all. We're 33 minutes in. I appreciate everyone joining. Oh, so Chef Dave's asks, what about the Ryu Super Chats? I have to fix that. So what was happening was anytime there's a Super Chat, it would go off and then it would kill my mic for, for like 15 seconds after. So we'll, we'll get that fixed. And then it said, when is the next online Switch stream? I got I to gotta figure that out sometime soon. We'll get that done. And then Wicked, awesome stream. Next time I want to I wanna join. I want you to join too. I got to figure out how to do it. Did you get your webcam yet? Uh, Zohar wants to do some Mario Kart 8 again. Payline slot channel. Thanks for the live, Ralph. Always love your commentary. Thanks, buddy. I appreciate you joining. I appreciate everyone joining. Uh, but I got to get back to... Oh, Gorilla Jones is in the house. Dude, Gorilla was dormant for a while, and then he came back. I love the Gorilla. He's awesome. He has a past history, a rich history in gaming, and I would love one day to actually have him on the show because he's got some pretty cool stories. Some of them he's shared in chat and stuff, but I think it'd be really cool to talk to him if he'd be ever willing to come on the show because uh, he's got some past history with things like the 32X. And I think it goes back a lot further than that, too. So I find that really interesting. But yeah, that's it. We're, we're definitely 100 percent done. I've overstayed. I've overstayed my own welcome, overstayed my own welcome. So, guys, let's do some final thoughts. I'll get the Super Chats fixed. I'll get that fixed. I promise. I, I, I love um I loved that feature and I, I, I jacked it all up. Let's see if I can get the, uh... oh man. I see I jacked up my final thoughts music. There we go. Hey guys, it's final thoughts time. So what do I think about the Neo Geo MVSX? If you're a Neo Geo fan or you wanna explore Neo Geo, the fact that it's a, going to be a licensed SNK product gives me hope that this thing will be pretty cool. Why it has six buttons, I have no idea. Maybe it's a nod to the modding community. Maybe they just don't know that Neo Geo games have four buttons. But if you're working with SNK, I would expect them to know that. So maybe it's the nod. I don't know what else they'd be for, but I guess we'll find out soon. 500 bucks, it's kind of steep, but you know, if you're looking to, looking to get into Neo Geo, it might be kind of cool. I appreciate all you guys joining. I don't have really anything else to say. Hold on. One more super chat because Stringer, he snuck it in. He always does that. He sneaks it in. Although that could be taken a different way. He says, you got held back. Yeah, dad did YouTube instead of Tudor. <laughs> so, oh, oh, okay. I really got to go. That hits home, dude. Hey, Tanner. Um, Hey, bud. Uh, you know, your dad, you know, he's a little irresponsible. He does these lunchtime streams. He's not really setting a good example. And, you know, yeah, you passed. You, you failed math because of your dad. So we're going to have to keep you back. All right. Now, that's pretty funny, actually. And then uh, Zohar says, I'm buying it. I'm the last one, Stringer. I'm the last one. Because Zohar's like, who's the master, String of Films? I said, who? Oh, hold on. Edwin snuck one in. I'm going to have to I'm going to have to close the stream down. So the thing is, I don't want you guys to not get recognized. So, all right. He said, when is the next console live stream? I don't know, Edwin. I'm working on it, man. This week is wicked busy. I've been having to do filming. Like, it's crazy. Show enough. Who's a master gorilla? Show I. I am. I am.
Don't you wish you could actually get the glow in real life? I mean, dude, it would be so badass if you could. Zohar says, I'm the master. Gorilla Jones gives the, <laughs> gives the stringer. I don't know. Did Gorilla Jones give Stringer Films a super chat? I don't even know what just happened right there. But uh, that's awesome. Oh, guys, stop. Okay. <laughs> that's how Dan, Dan Knott said, that's how dad did it. That's how America does it. It's worked out pretty well so far. That is old school. That's old school Retro Ralph, if you don't know that. I used to have a button that said that. Yeah, so anyways. All right, we got to wrap it up, guys. We're done. We got to be done. Um, I was ending on something. Yeah, so uh, I'm working on the next gaming live stream. It should be this week, hopefully, which basically that means it'd have to be tomorrow. Uh, Zohar says, suck it, Edwin, with a $2 super <laughs> chat. You guys are cracking me up. Please, no more. We're ending. No more. We're ending, okay? All right, guys. That's it. Juan, dude, thank you. That's it. We'll see you. I'm ending it. I'm ending it now. There's nothing else you can do. We'll see you. Oh, God damn it. No, Ando Gamer. That is way too much. I don't even know who did the super chat. Is it Edwin or is it? I'm so confused. I think it's Edwin. Or did Ando do one and then... No, it's Edwin. Okay, Edwin, thank you for the super chat, buddy. Okay, no more. I'm not, I can't. I gotta, like, we really gotta go. Like, I have, I'm gonna be, my kid's gonna be held back. And there's no amount of super chat monies that'll, <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> okay, <laughs> we're done. All right, we're out. I'm seriously done. I'm seriously done. Okay, we will see you on the next one. Thanks, guys. Appreciate all the support. And I'm out. <laughs>